I'm just a little fed up and I'm a little fired up because y'all going at them so hard. Freddie's going to be fine. Baker's going to be fine. We're still going 10-6. and six. That's still going to happen. We're still making the playoffs. What's up, y'all? That's Anthony Sellers. That's Eric Jordan. And this is Browns, Browns in, in Our Blood. blood. And we're, today we're, we're, eating, we're shooting over at uh, clutch. clutch Wings. Look at some of this. Ooh, I got me some nice uh, <laughs> tenders and tater tots. Yes, yes. Well, man, let's jump right into it, man. Yes. Yo, all y'all jumping the ship on Freddie and Baker right now. <laughs> man, y'all killing me with this, yo. It's only been three games. It's a long season. Yes, those were some bad plays. Yes. Fourth, we, we're, we're 10 yards out and Chubbs don't see the ball twice. Yes. Fourth and nine, draw play. Yes, bad play. But, man, Freddie's dealing with some he, – he's dealing with being a head coach and making calls at the same time. He needs a little chance for his learning curve. But the way y'all hitting him right now, I'm in – Multiple Facebook groups on, on the Browns, about the Browns, and people want to just, yo, Freddie's going to be fine. This, this is my personal opinion. I don't know how Anthony feels about it. I'm just a little fed up and I'm a little fired up because y'all going at him so hard. Freddie's going to be fine. Baker's going to be fine. We're still going 10-6. and six. That's still going to happen. We're still making the playoffs. Yeah, check back with me in the season and see what it's saying. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm aggravated with it, though. Are you aggravated? Uh, yes. Yes, because you got four downs from the five-yard line with 30 seconds left, and you don't find one play to get to arguably the best receiver in the game. To tar at least I get agree. a target to – oh, that come on. Yeah. No, like, I, that's, I agree. That's I agree. Of, the plays were bad. I agree. That, I'm with you there's, there. You're talking about accountability. They're doing a lot of things, too, that are still shooting themselves in the foot. Uh, like? Like penalties. You know, the, all those illegal – Illegal shifts, illegal so, motions. So, like, uh, so are you like you're done with Freddie too? No, I'm not done with it, but I'm just like it needs you're, seriously, you're seriously cleaned off. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I'm with you on that. I'm frustrated on that too. But don't, I don't know. You, I know you haven't checked the boards. Like they are like they want Freddie out. Some some people I'm talking to, not some people I'm talking to. I'm seeing the message boards on, on, in the Facebook groups, and they're like. Same old Browns. Freddie sucks. We should have never gotten rid of Greg Williams. Blah, 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 blah. I'm hearing all that craziness. And I'm like, oh, come on. Baker, we, like, they, they, they say yeah. we took the wrong pick now with Baker. I don't think that. he He's still pressing, though. He needs to, like, they, they just need to design stuff that's, like, going to be conducive. Because they're doing a lot of, like, a lot of things that aren't helping the wide receivers and stuff get open either. Like right. no, no rub and pick place type stuff. No motions to help them read the defense pre-snap. There's just so many stuff that things that they're not doing that they did last year in that second half of the season that needs to be corrected. They they need no, to I find agree. a way to incorporate this stuff into it. Like they're not doing that. No, I agree. That's why I come back to what's different this year than last year. He wasn't trying to be a head coach last year. I just don't think. Head coaching is just that easy. I think it's, no. it, you need some time to learn how to judge, especially if you're head coaching and still calling the calls. So let him deal with that. You got to you got to give Freddie chance to have his learning curve. Yeah, I do think it'll it'll yeah. improve. You do think it'll improve. Yeah, I do, okay, I I do, do think too. so. But the execution part of it on the field has to change too, and they they got to find a way to, like the coaching staff has to find a way to start nailing that into their heads about these you know the illegal shifts the false starts like all that those are just dumbass mental errors right no they, I just, agree. they need to stop it like they need I to agree. find a way to get that like that that can be they need to coach that and get that engraved in the head that they gotta have that discipline I like seeing the way Chubb played yeah you know, he played really well especially against you know a good defensive line good front seven early right and early you yeah. make a good point too that I don't wanna I don't wanna rush over because I said, we down in it within the 10-yard line, and Chubb doesn't get the ball once. But you're right. Our best playmaker doesn't get the, get the ball thrown to him when he wants it yeah. either. That kind of stuff got yeah, yeah, they're at the five-yard line, four downs with 30 seconds left to tie the game, and you can't find one play to get to literally the one of the, 
probably one of the top two receivers in the game now. Right. Like to me, it's Odell and Julio. Right. right. And you can't find a play to get him the ball. Come right. on. Like right. that's just that's that's was for coaching wise. That's got to change. Right. On that. No, I agree with so, you. I agree with you. But there was also another play where you know that strip sack. Miles Garrett strip sack that Schobert recovered and took it down to like the 17 yard line or something. Oh, I thought he was going to take it back to the house. Yeah, yeah, but you don't move the ball a yard there and only come up with three. So yeah, yeah. I think there's just different things that execution wise they need. They they just got to find a way to improve upon. In my in my opinion, I think one thing that would help the whole offense. Baker needs to run a little bit. I ain't talking <laughs> about I ain't talking about run. You know like. Yeah, running back. But like that fourth down play the, at the very end of the game, the very last offensive play, the whole middle of the field was wide open for him. Yes. Like yes. The both tackles were lined up at, over our offensive tackles, and they were playing man coverage. Yes. Why not? Like why? Why did he escape out to the right? Why didn't he just dart forward? Yeah, he does. He doesn't. I don't, has he ran it all this this season? I don't know. I don't think he's ran it all for the three games and. That makes it real easy on that defense. I mean, I can stand if you don't have wheels, if you don't have running. But damn, Phillip Rivers, he ran his, with, he ran twice last on Sunday. And I know Baker's faster yeah. than Phillip Rivers. So. I kind of wonder if Baker's confidence is shot a little bit. Might be. Uh, it's a lot I mean, of pressure. The way, just the way it's cut, the games have happened and stuff. Yeah. Kinda, I can see it happening. Like it, so, yeah, he could be feeling He's a young man. He's, he could be feeling it. But I tell you this. Whether he would admit it or not, he won't. Story. He would never admit it. Yeah, and that's why I love about him, and that's why I also think, in the end, Baker gonna show up. He's gonna show up. He's gonna figure. They're gonna make the adjustments. They're gonna deal with the hype and all this, and Baker's gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah. I truly believe that. I hope so. I, ho- I hope a lot of things change. Right. And hopefully Higgins comes back this week. And yeah, right. then after this week, we get Callaway back. Right. Oh, so, that's right. I forgot about that. I forgot yeah. about Callaway coming back. Right. So, I mean, there's some different things, but it's not going to matter much if the play calling and play designs don't get creative. If they don't get creative with them because they're right. kind of not – they're not really doing anything right. special. Right. And defense, you did your job. Defense did its job. Holding the Rams to 20. With the whole starting secondary gone. With the whole starting sam- – yeah. They, they y'all did your job. They, they played well. They played well. You know, you can hold a team to 20 points in the NFL you, with a quarterback like Baker, we should be able to win. Do we get our, do, any DBs coming back for this game? For the I don't know. I hope so. I wouldn't check the depth chart. And they're and um, they all in the depth chart, but they all have all the injury. Like, yeah, they're all probably like day-to-day or something. Yeah, Ward, Randall, and um, Greedy. So, I tell you what, though. This game was, was kind of good going into a division game with the Ravens. You know, uh, a real defense, you know, Aaron Donald breathing on you. you got that taste, you know, because we need to go in to win this game. We need to win this game against Baltimore, and it ain't yeah. going to be easy. Yeah, It's no. not going to be easy. No, it's not. not. Especially with the way Baltimore's playing. Yeah. They played yeah. a lot better than I think a lot of people expected. They, their first drive this last week was like a 14-play drive. Yeah. Like ridiculous. Yeah. In, in, the Ingram pickup for the Ravens was not fair. <laughs> Put it that way. Was not fair. Oh, I'm so mad at my. Now I'm mad at myself on a whole different level, because this was my strategy. I told my brother the strategy. This is fantasy. I'm jumping in fantasy football real quick. My 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 strategy was this: if I couldn't get my homes in the third round, and he was gone in every draft, first second round. I didn't believe people were going to draft a quarterback in the first or second round, but they did in all my leagues. So he was gone. I said if my homes were gone, the third was gone in the third round. I was going to go skill position to the 11th, and then I was going to go Lamar and Kyler, and Kyler Murray as my quarterbacks. But somewhere between that theory and my first fantasy draft, I fell in love with Jared Goff. Your execution failed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So you like the Browns' offense? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So what do you think we need? Any ideas like what thoughts on the for us to do against the Ravens? You gotta find a way to stop them, but contain the run a little bit. Yeah. I mean Cause, you cause, said it, they got like Ingram kinda wasn't fair having them. Yeah. Like him signing there kinda wasn't fair. They got what? 
four like a four headed monster running wise with Jack and when you yeah. include Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Like it's yeah ridiculous. Yeah. I, well, I hope we have our DBs back. At least a couple of them. At least Darius Randall. Man. Yeah. But that offense looks explosive. Whew. They're going to be pumped up. Taking this L from KC. No one is that close to winning. Jackson's going to be more focused. They're going to be at home. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be a – but we can beat them, though. We can beat them. We're just as talented, if not more talented. You know something I saw? Um, I don't know if you saw the picture of Aaron Donaldson and um, Miles trading oh, jerseys. Yeah. See how much bigger Miles is than Donaldson? Just taller, you mean? Taller and bigger. I don't know if he's bigger, man. Aaron he Donald's like jacked. He Miles is. Garrett is a superhero. Well, yeah, Miles Garrett's jacked too, but they're, I mean, like, Aaron Donald's also like five inches shorter. True. So, so yeah, that little, little stubby compact. I remember those guys. They solid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> I didn't but, know I was gonna be this hungry. But Baker, I think one thing gonna help the offense, like I said, Baker, if he runs a little bit, but he gotta get that ball out quicker. Yeah. Like he did the first drive. The first drive, bam, Odell. Bam, Odell. Yeah, yeah that one touchdown drive they had. It was the same kind of thing. He was doing the same thing. Yeah. Like yeah. they were they were playing against that whole the whole pass rush because LA, you know, they get their pass rush gets there quick. So they were playing, playing to circumvent that, and it worked on those few drives. More chubs, more chubs. Y'all did better. More, y'all did. Y'all definitely did more chubs than the first two games. I'll say I don't think he can do do much more than that. He had like 22, 23 carries. Get down in in ten yards, man. Your boy got to see the ball though. He got to see the ball, especially four four plays, four four downs, and three timeouts. A couple weeks ago, I was saying how I want to see more like twelve personnel, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff. And they started doing that. Now we don't. But now that we don't have Najoku, kind of don't really need need to use two tight ends. Just find a way to get the best eleven on the field. Whether no matter what kind of if it's three wide receivers and That's one running point. back and one tight end, or four wide receivers, no tight end, one running back. Just point. get the best players on the field and design the play call for those players specifics to get them open. That's a good point. Yeah, I, mean, time, I wouldn't even think like that. that. Yeah, it's time they start adjusting. Uh, Adjusting the playbook. Well, you know we got FanDuel League. Sorry, Anthony, you and Hyphen came in last place. I, <laughs> I was doing good there for a minute, and then it just my my four o'clock players didn't show up. That was it. Man, before the four o'clock game, I think I was in like second to last. Yeah, I was. Then I came back and got back in second place. But hey, it goes out to mischievous, mischievous with the big win in fantasy. I was on you though. I almost had you, mischievous. I almost had you. Where's he been? <laughs> <laughs> I, he kind of showed up out of nowhere on this. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to play fantasy football with us, we play every Sunday, 1 o'clock game, start 1 o'clock game. The, um, if you want to join the link for the, to join the, um, the league, description's down, down in the description box. I'm sorry, I'm just messing up all kind of words today. <laughs> if you want to join the fantasy league, we play with us, us guys and six other guys. The link is in the description box. Feel free to come on and, and join and play with us. We'll be playing this Sunday. We play every Sunday. Play for money. And um, Didn't fill up last week. Yeah. We, it didn't fill, we, it, we oh, had, yeah. We had what? How many? Six. We had six last had this six. past week. So. so, yeah. Come on. Join join us. So, we can, so we I can got, get, got a set of eight people this week. So Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I am the reigning champion. You know, I have won this league. I won it last year. And, uh, we're going to uh, knock you off. And I'm still gonna, in first place because I won it last week, too. I'm in second place this week, but right now I'm in the total points. Total points, I'm yeah. In first place. <laughs> also, feel, make sure you subscribe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Monster Long Sound Vision. Um, please like, share, and comment. You know, we love talking with you guys online. We love talking to you in the comment section. We got some good things going on there, so definitely comment. And, uh, Subscribe and hit that um, hit that um, notification bell. Yes, I'll try to remember to look this week. I forgot to look this past week. Right. To see the comments and stuff. So once but again, yeah. once again, brownies, don't give up on Freddie and Bake. We got we got the real thing. It's, it's they, early yet. Yeah, they're, they're both. You know, I know Freddie's not a young it's guy. Not, it's but time he's, for adjustments, but it's early. It's, yes, yes, and it's a, he's a young first year head coach he has to learn some things as he goes we know he's a good play caller even though it didn't look like it this week we know what he can do 
Just be patient. We'll get it together. We'll still be 10 to 6. We'll still make the playoffs. That's Anthony Sellers. <laughs> That's Eric Jordan. And this is Browns, Browns in our blood. blood. Here we go, Brownies. Beat the Ravens.